Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant menace. It's a concern of worldwide proportions. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp, but they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. The Genetic Research and Security Organization is now responding to that report, but a mob has formed and tempers are flaring. Help! Somebody help me! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mutant! I swear I'm not! Mom! Grab the girl and get out of here! Mind if I cut in? Stop! Stop! Stop fighting! Stop it right now! Stop! I came here alone. You are destined to lose, X-Men. I'm the best at what I do. Ha! You're one of the mighty X-Men. <laughs> I will annihilate you! <laughs> Run while you got the chance. Wolverine, someday, some way, I'll see you die. You're done, darling, and I ain't even broken a sweat. Where's Blob taking the kid? She's ours now, Wolverine. You'll never see her again. We'll get her back, Mystique. Even if we have to cut down each and every one of you Brotherhood psychos. What's so special about her? The Crestmere child has her uses. You always got some plan brewing, don't you, Mystique? It's time to save Allison. You'll never catch Blob! <laughs> Ow! Get this guy away from me! Hey, come back here! Don't take another step closer, Blob. Try and stop me, Green Puff! This fight is making me hungry! All right. Did you slip on something? <laughs> you X-Men, don't fight we'll get first! get Alice into the X-Jet. I'll meet you there.
got it. Right. Why is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and suddenly the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was gonna make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Any time! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Allison Crestmere. Hello, Allison. Welcome to the Institute. How are you? A little confused, but I'm okay. That's understandable. Perhaps Jean could take you on a tour of the mansion, or would you prefer that I show you the true purpose of the Institute in the sub-basement? Why was I brought here? You were brought here for your own protection. The people who attacked you in New York City were members of the Brotherhood of Mutants. They can be extremely dangerous. So they could come after me again? Perhaps. Which is why it would be best for you to stay at the mansion. At least until we determine exactly why the Brotherhood attempted to kidnap you. Are you the leader of the X-Men? I prefer to think of myself as their mentor. I leave team leadership to Cyclops or Storm. But you brought them together, right? Yes. I started with Cyclops and several others. As time passed, I found more mutants who were capable of handling the responsibilities of being an X-Man. Who's the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is an unruly collection of mutants who consider themselves above humanity. They operate outside the law and use their abilities to further their misguided desires. But what do they want? They've labeled themselves Homo Superior and believe they will inherit the Earth. But they are far from meek. Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. This is the war room. From here, we keep a watchful eye on the world for any signs of trouble. This is also where the X-Men meet to formulate combat strategies. What's that holographic globe? That is the mission control computer. With it, you can examine and activate any missions that are currently available to the X-Men. I'll have to take a look at that later. Very good. Now, would you like a tour of the sub-basement, or would you prefer to explore on your own? I'd like a sub-basement tour. Feel free to inspect the rooms. I'll follow along and explain as we go. Oh, I'm not an X-Man. I'm just looking around the war room. Professor Xavier said it was okay. I saw this flashing button marked Muir Island, so I pushed it. Are you having trouble there? Yes, the Brotherhood stormed through here. Oh my gosh! Were you hurt? Me? I'm fine. Who are you? My name's Forge. I bet you've got some kind of mutant power, don't you? I have the ability to build any type of machine. What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. What did they want? They took some experimental equipment that masks mutant DNA from scanning devices. Why would they want that? Hmm. I'm not sure. 
but while wearing the masking device, even Cerebro would not be able to detect them. Talk to you later, Forge. Anytime. What in the world? This is Cerebro, a machine designed to locate mutants anywhere on the planet. Is this how you found me? Precisely. We were able to pinpoint you when your mutant abilities began to manifest themselves several days ago. This machine must be really powerful. It is indeed. While wearing that headset, a telepath can feel the heartbeat of almost every sentient being on Earth. It could, potentially, overwhelm an untrained mind, though. Whoa. Yes. And in addition, Cerebro keeps detailed files on all known mutants. From within here, I control battle situations that take place in the training room you can see through those windows. The training room has earned the dubious title of the Danger Room. But the Danger Room looks completely empty. With the aid of advanced holography, any adversary or environment can be created out of nothingness. The Danger Room can simulate battle situations from the surface of the moon to 1,000 feet below sea level. Holographs? So nothing in there is real? Make no mistake, while the enemies in the Danger Room may not be real, the danger certainly is, as the bruises of the X-Men can attest. What's the console over there? That is the Danger Room computer. What's it do? It is the artificial intelligence created by Beast to run the Danger Room. With it, a student can access any of the training programs available. You may use it later, should you wish. Sounds kind of scary, but fun. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Allison, because I would now like to officially extend you an invitation to join us here at the Institute. Your parents hoped you would stay to see if we could help you learn to control your mutant abilities. I... I don't know. This is all happening so fast. There's no rush. This is a difficult decision. So for the time being, consider yourself our guest. Feel free to enjoy anything the mansion has to offer. With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The Harp facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. Not supposed to be here. You X Men are traitors to your own species. And I'll see to it you don't get another chance. Bloody well said, mistake. Those X Gits always nose us up when they should be helping us. Let's wipe them out before the Sentinels get us all, eh? Pyro, destroy them! Ready to feel the heat? Combo! Need a hand. Yes. 
Yeah, right. Yes, right. You bet. Yeah. All right. Okay. Superheroes, yes. you are, eh? The entire lot of you knocking on me. That's yes. oddly fair. Oh, should I bleed now? I can't even give them to give me a lift. Sad news? I don't recall seeing any such thing. You're hallucinating, you are. I swear on the grave of me Aunt Beatrice, I don't know nothing about no set news. Uh, no need getting rough on me. I was just having a little fun, I was. <laughs> okay, okay, look, Mystique wanted a location that was stored on the computers here. I don't know, honest. But now that they've got it, Mystique was saying the Day of Reckoning's coming soon. Not rightly sure what that means, but I bet you ain't gonna like it. Well, if I knew, he wouldn't be anonymous, now would he? Here now, I'd be far more likely to talk if you were to be nice to me. Two days now since I came to the Institute. I still haven't decided whether I want to stay or not. But Bobby Drake sure makes it seem awfully inviting. It was exciting hearing about the X-Men's adventures at the Heart Facility in Alaska. Part of me wishes I could have gone with them. I guess I'm getting caught up in all this X-Men superhero business. Hello, Allison. You're looking most excellent today. But then you look most excellent every day. Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Heart Facility? Yeah, I guess there was a lot of equipment at the facility that had nothing to do with studying the Aurora Borealis. So if they aren't studying the sky, what are they doing? Professor X thinks the government might be using it as a high-tech headquarters for storing sensitive information. Stuff they don't want regular people to know about. You know, things like Area 51, The Man on the Grassy Knoll, old disco songs from the 70s. Who is that Toad guy they brought back? Toad? He's a member of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Is he dangerous? Only to himself. The Brotherhood treats him like a court jester, always playing tricks on him. Why he puts up with all their abuse is beyond me. I heard someone say Toad mentioned Sentinels. What's a Sentinel? They're mutant hunting machines. But the government shut that program down years ago. I'm sure Toad's just talking smack. See you later, Bobby. See you later, beautiful. Guten Tag, Fräulein Krestmeier. Huh? A thousand pardons. I did not mean to scare you. Who are you? My name is Kurt Wagner, but normally I use the name Nightcrawler. That's a very cool name. Danke. 
That was my performing name when I was a famous acrobat known all over Germany. Perhaps you have heard of me. No, I can't say that I have. Pity. I do so love the spotlight. But perhaps what I loved the most was people's assumption that I was just a regular human dressed in a devil's costume. That trick of yours is pretty neat. How does it work? It is teleportation. At first I could only teleport a few meters, but the more I practice, the farther I can transport. Wow. You can travel anywhere? Almost. I must be able to see the place I am teleporting to. Otherwise I might appear in a wall or tree, which would be most disagreeable. Could you tell me about the Sentinels? Sentinels are pure evil in mechanized form. For a time, the government funded a program that built those mutant killing machines. How do Sentinels work? They are programmed to scan for mutant DNA and then kill any and all mutants. Their shielding and weapons were built to withstand all but the most powerful attacks. I have battled them before, but God protect me should I ever have to again. What's it like fighting a sentinel? Ah, oh, it is terrible. I remember one battle in particular. The X-Men were summoned to New York to help a friend in trouble. You've mentioned God several times. It seems kind of odd that you look like you do, and yet you're religious. Yeah, I have heard that many times. But my belief in God is my greatest strength. For you see, muscle may be able to move mountains, but faith can lift an entire civilization. Bye, Nightcrawler. I'll feed us in, Alison. Hi, Professor Xavier. How are you? I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. That's understandable. I wanted to let you know that I've decided. I'd like to become a student at your school. That's excellent news, Allison. You've made a very wise choice. Thank you, sir. The Institute does seem to be the best place for me. At least for now. Now that you're a student, I'd like very much to test your mutant abilities. Test my abilities? You mean in the danger room? Yes, if you don't mind. But what if I fail? There is no grade for this test. It's merely a means to measure the full extent of your powers. That way we'll know better how to deal with your particular needs. Okay. I'll try, but don't expect much. Don't worry, Allison. Just do your best. We're getting some interesting readings on your powers. I'll show you after the test. While this is only an exercise, you are in a minimal amount of jeopardy. The kids got potential. Indeed. Hurt. Professor, the safety protocols are failing. I'm getting her out of there. Wait. just happened? Am I in trouble? Not at all, my child. Scott? Professor, I haven't seen energy readings like this since... The Phoenix. Are you all right, Allison? I'm fine, Professor Xavier, and I'm really sorry about destroying the danger room. I, I don't know what happened. I just sort of lost control. Not to worry. 
This type of thing happens all the time. Besides, I think it gives Beast an excuse to make modifications to the equipment. Well, I've had enough. I'm never setting foot in the danger room again. I understand this was a very trying experience, but at some point you must try again. It's the only way you'll learn to master your powers. But I won't need to learn about my powers if I never use them again. That wouldn't be a wise course of action. I encourage you to take some time off and rest. When you feel better, come back to the danger room and try again. I don't know, Professor Xavier. Let me think about it. We have a potential emergency. I received this brief transmission from Gambit a short time ago. Strange voodoo down here. Morlocks are gathered. And that's no lie. Now they're coming for me. Professor, the Morlocks are after Remy. We gotta go save him. I agree, Rogue. We must proceed with caution. Who are the Morlocks? They're a tribe of mutants who have isolated themselves from the general mutant populace. They're sewer dwellers, having built an entire secret society beneath the streets of Manhattan. Yes, and in doing so, they have become extremely hostile towards outsiders. I want a team to enter the sewers as quietly as possible and render aid to Gambit should he require it. Please keep contact with the Morlocks to a minimum. <laughs> that Cajun can't stay out of trouble, can he? That's a trait you two share in abundance. <laughs> you get funnier by the day, Furball, you know that? You have your mission, X-Men. Be on your way. There's no time to waste. business in the realm of the Morlocks. Be gone from here. Yes, I am Marrow. We have no need for the likes of you down here in our dark world. Gambit. Yes, I've met him. But he's not been seen in our tunnels for a very long time. The radio transmission was obviously wrong. Your friend is not down here. You anger me because you live in a world of light and beauty, while we outcasts are forced to live in darkness. Liar! You speak sweet phrases, but you don't mean them. Mark my words. Soon we Morlocks will be treated as equals to those who walk here. It's useless. You won't find him here. Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, I'm fine. It's good to know a man can count on his friends. We? Oui? <laughs> Never! We'll fight you beauties to the death before we give the Cajun up. You've lost already. Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, I'm fine. It's good to know a man can count on his friends. We? Oui? <laughs> Never! We'll fight you beauties to the death before we give the Cajun up. You never should have come to my sins. Come on! Help! I'm in Major League trouble! Help me, X-Men! Enough! You have won, X-Men. For now. But this is only the first round. We caught him spying on us, like a rat in the shadows. 
I can't have some two-bit thief complicating my plans. Very well. But don't let us catch that Cajun in our sewers again. No worries. Old Gambit done already picked the lock. I was hearing the Molochs were getting cozy with the Brotherhood. Thought maybe I better check it out, you know? Then they, uh, done caught me. Oh, I don't know about that. After all, y'all be here saving me. <laughs> X-Men, I apologize for the telepathic intrusion, but from data gained at the Harp facility, I believe we've determined where the Brotherhood will strike next. Is this the location Toad told us Mystique was so interested in? Yes, Scott, and that location is the USS Arbiter. Ain't that the new submersible aircraft carrier? Indeed. Its exact coordinates are being uploaded to you now. Professor, you don't suppose that the Arbiter is where they're keeping Mag- Storm, I pray it is not. But you must proceed there immediately and stop the Brotherhood before they're able to achieve their goal. Don't worry, Professor. We'll stop them. Dead in their tracks. I have the utmost confidence you will, Wolverine. Good luck, X-Men. generators and cracking the hull in the process. I can, but only for a short time. this ship together. No, it's too late. I can't keep the ship afloat any longer. Whatever it was the Brotherhood wanted here, they're going to die for it. And if we don't leave right now, we'll drown too. Savior of the mutant race. 
this is free! Our destiny is at hand. His words shall ring to all corners of the land. For he shall come forth and wage war upon our enemies. The worthy will rise up to usher in a new age. Like gods they will be. But only by your will. It is time to set my house in order. I'm Deborah Owens for RBN World News. Our top story tonight, the attack on the USS Arbiter. Earlier today, a terrorist group known as the Brotherhood of Mutants boarded the Arbiter and forced their way into the lower decks. Once there, they released an electromagnetic burst that severely crippled the ship. Officials were quick to point out that even though the Arbiter sank, there was no loss of human life. This event gave General Kincaid more fuel for his anti-mutant sentiment. At a press conference, the general said that should things continue in this vein... Homo sapiens, we stand upon the edge of a brave new world, and evolution has found you lacking. I invite all mutants to congregate at the mount. Together we will force the Homo sapiens to make way for their true masters. Homo superior. Things at the mansion have become really tense now that Magneto is free. Professor Xavier spends a lot of time with Cerebro. Cyclops is super uptight, and you can't talk to Wolverine without him trying to take your head off. It feels like something really bad is about to happen. Still, as stressed out as things are, I'm surprised to find I'm starting to think of the mansion as home. Hello, Allison. We were just discussing you. I'm really, really sorry about all that damage I did to the Danger Room. <laughs> Kid, if I had to say sorry every time I tore up the Danger Room, it'd be the only word out of my mouth. Really? You mean it? Yes, Allison. Part of the reason we use the Danger Room is so new mutants can test their powers in a controlled environment and that frequently results in equipment being damaged. What do you say, kid? Want to give it a go? You want me to go in the danger room again? I think it would be a good idea. Professor Xavier is quite adamant that you hone your skills. Besides, aren't you just aching to pay back Mystique and the rest of the Brotherhood for jumping you like that? Okay, I'll give it a try. Good. Just warn me if you're gonna go thermonuclear so I can get out of the way. Allison, you were magnificent. I saw the entire exercise. Very commendable, Allison. You've already shown vast improvement in controlling your powers. Perhaps it's time you were given greater responsibilities. Professor, I admit it was impressive, but one session in the danger room doesn't make Allison ready for field ops. I agree, Scott but we must allow Allison to grow at her own rate. And I believe that with the proper supervision, she would make an excellent addition to our team. Me? An X-Man? I don't believe it. What do you say, Allison Cresmere? Would you consider joining our team? Yes, yes, I'd love to! Do I get a cool code name? <laughs> How about Pebbles? Oh, hush, Logan. Stratus? Those are good suggestions, but, um, I kind of had a name in mind already. How about Magma? Magma. An excellent choice. Welcome to the X-Men. Magma. What about the uniform? Do I get to wear my uniform all the time? <laughs> Follow me, dear. What's up, Professor? Cerebro has discovered the Brotherhood is on the move again this time to a potentially catastrophic location. The Boshnoi nuclear plant in Siberia. Is Magneto with them? No, at least according to Cerebro. The Brotherhood has access to weapons-grade plutonium? This is most disconcerting. 
Agreed. Whatever they're up to, the consequences will be disastrous. The Brotherhood must be stopped, or you may very well have to contain a nuclear meltdown. <gasps> oh, dear God. They wouldn't. Oh, yes, they would, Storm. Without batting an eye. We must stop them. Right on, Psyche. Let's go show the Brotherhood they're playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun. Very well, X-Men. Be on your way. There's no time to waste. Please, please, I, I have family. Let me leave. Yet, I think they have gone, all except for the metal one. Da, he wears a uniform much like yours, but he is Russian. He is at the nuclear core, no doubt eating it like a bear with honey. Спасибо. X-Men, thank the fathers you are here. I do not know how much longer I can last. Because of Magneto's attack, the reactor is close to critical mass. If I drop this regulator, there will be a nuclear explosion. Quickly, you must go to the control room above me and open the blast doors. From there, you can repair the brackets that hold this regulator in place. I feel as strong as a hurricane! Okay. You have my gratitude, comrades. It was Magneto. Yet, he called the group his acolytes. And there was one other man I did not recognize. He manipulated the radiation so that Magneto would not be harmed while he was within the reactor. I overheard the Acolyte say he was creating some type of material that generated gravitic ions. I am sorry, my friends, but my sister, Iliana, has fallen ill. I cannot leave her side. A most excellent idea, comrade. This should be the care she requires. Let us go immediately. Peter, I promise you, I'll do all that's humanly possible to save her. But this is a most unusual case. I've looked for viruses, parasites, and tissue damage. 
but I can't find anything wrong with her. I do not understand. Peter, there is no physical reason she should be in a coma. And to make matters worse, her body has begun to shut down. Doctor, please, I beg of you. Don't give up hope. I've asked Forge to see if he can create a life support system to keep your sister alive. Do you think he will succeed? Knowing Forge, he's putting the finishing touches on the device as we speak. Computer, shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, yes. My name's Forge. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Allison. I, I mean, I'm Magma. Nice workshop you have here. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment Dr. McTaggart might require. You see, I have the ability to build any type of machine. That's got to be... The weirdest mutant power you've ever heard of, yes, I know. Everybody says that, until they need me to build a machine for them, that is. <laughs> Are you having trouble with your computer? <sighs> ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off, it won't take any of my commands. Say, could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute's supercomputer? I needed to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. Sure, I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, contact me over the radio, and I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense systems. They'll attack anything that moves in there. Maybe I should get one of the other X-Men to handle this. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help. And you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah. I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. First, you'll need to raise the bridge to get to the primary controls. There should be a control panel near the bridge. I win! The bridge won't go up. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. That had to hurt. This panel isn't doing anything, Forge. Yeah, from my monitor, it looks like the core is out of alignment. So what should I do? There are two core control stations. Find them and access the core. They should automatically align. Good job, Allison. Now you have to find the other core control station. That's more like it. The core is in alignment. Now head back to the primary controls and access them. I've got it covered, Forge. Okay, Moira. I've finished downloading the program. How do things look? That's done it, Forge. Ileana's life signs are stabilizing. Your talents truly are a gift from heaven. I couldn't have done it without Allison. She's the hero. Well then, I thank you, Allison. You saved Ileana's life. Anyone could have done it. Nonsense. You deserve to be congratulated, lass. Thanks. I'm just glad Ileana's better. X-Men, meet at the X-Jet. Now. It's time we left for the mansion, people. Colossus, you're welcome to join us. 
Since Dr. McTaggart is sending Ileana to see Professor Xavier at the X-Mansion, I will go too. We got back from your island a little while ago. Somehow my troubles with the Brotherhood really don't seem important compared to what poor Ileana's going through. I hope Dr. McTaggart and Professor Xavier can help her. Hello, dear. You must be new to the school. Yes, my name is Allison Cressmere. How delightful. I'll bet all the boys are chasing after a pretty girl like you. Ah, uh, men. They're so easy to own. Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. She has immense psychic talents. Charles, my sweet. You're looking more handsome every day. And you, Emma, are equal parts beauty and chaos. Such a smooth talker. You could charm a girl right out of her. Thank you for coming to the mansion so promptly. I am in dire need of your talents. Not to worry, Charles. Auntie Emma will make it all better. You see, Allison? Men are so easy. Much like the boy you're interested in. Bobby Drake? Hello, Allison. How's that boy you have your eye on? Bobby Drake? How did you know about Bobby? It's amazing the things you learn when you're a telepath. I thought telepaths weren't supposed to read minds unless they were given permission. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? What's this astral plane that Professor Xavier was talking about? The astral plane is a dimension of existence bordering on the edge of thought. It's based entirely on metaphor. So, a person who needs emotional protection would be covered in armor, and a person who wishes to be silent would be surrounded by a wall. Sounds very weird. Think of it as a dream, where everything has an alternate and deeper meaning. Good luck on your mission. Be sure to keep an eye on the professor. My dear, I always keep both eyes on Charles. Was ist los, Beast? Why call such a mysterious meeting, huh? I apologize for the cryptic message, but I fear we are about to come under attack from cloaked invaders. What? How do you know? Normally, I never would have detected them, but the variant covalence bands were interfering with an experiment dealing with hyperbolic... If there's a point, Beast, you should be getting to it. As you wish, Wolverine. I've discovered someone is attempting to access the Xavier Protocols. Those contain information on every known mutant in the world. If they fell into the wrong hands, no mutant would be safe. Any idea who's doing it, Beast? Anyone attempting to infiltrate our network would have to be nearby. But I've scanned the mansion grounds and can't detect anyone. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume our unwanted guests are cloaked. Now it makes sense. For the past half hour, I've been catching thoughts from minds that I've never encountered before. Jean, do you think you can pinpoint where these thoughts are coming from? Yes, but I can only locate one mind at a time. That's all we'll need. All right, team, let's get out there and pay close attention to Jean's instructions. I can sense them nearby. Search the grounds and I'll mark the ones closest to us. Good night, bud. Booyah! Well, that's all of them. Good job, guys. Now, if one of you would be so kind as to gather the communication gear from one of these gentlemen, it could prove most beneficial. Those Gerso soldiers had some of the most advanced gear I've ever seen. And they fought as if they were specifically trained to battle mutants. Yes. This is most disconcerting. Okay, Beast, you got the gear. Now tell us where their home base is, so we can clean it out. Just one moment. All I have to do is reconfigure the transmitter and triangulate the beacon signal. Voila! Now we can ascertain who our invisible friends were communicating with. Canada. 
intriguing. Now, if I narrow the search... What is this? I do not know this place. That facility once belonged to the Canadian government. It's where the Weapon X project was carried out many years ago. Professor, wasn't Logan a victim of Weapon X? Indeed, which is precisely why Logan has already left. I can't talk for long. We're getting ready to leave for the astral plane. Why are you going to the astral plane? Professor Xavier wants a group of us to go. He said he'd explain why at the mission briefing. What's the astral plane? The astral plane is a realm of the mind where thoughts become reality, but it works entirely on metaphor, kind of like in dreams. Oh, so like people who feel trapped or in chains and stuff like that? Exactly. Can non-psychic people go to the astral plane? I've heard of a few very rare cases, but non-psychics have very little impact there. Psychics, on the other hand, can reshape the astral plane to match their state of mind. Good luck on your mission. Thanks, Allison. I'm sure we'll be perfectly safe. So, you're leaving too, just like Logan. You vowed to never read our minds without permission. I didn't, just a hunch. May I ask why? It's Alex. He wants me to meet him someplace in Canada. Said he had information concerning the Brotherhood. I'm guessing it has something to do with the spy drones we found at the mansion. Perhaps the X-Men should accompany you. No, Professor. I need to do this alone. As you wish, Scott. Good luck, and say hello to Alex for me. Hello, big brother. Alex? Or should I say, Havoc? I answer to either name. Did you bring your ex-pals? I came alone, like you asked. There's a surprise. I thought your whole group was joined at the hip. Cut to small talk, Alex. What is this place? It's an annex for Department H, Canada's Defense Ministry. We got word they were running a secret facility here. Something to do with mutants. We? Yeah, I joined the Brotherhood. So that was you protecting Magneto from radiation at the Russian nuclear plant? Yeah, what of it? Alex, you've done some stupid things, but joining up with that bunch is just a... I knew you'd say that. That's why I had you meet me here, so you could see for yourself that humanity is nothing but a bunch of animals. Mom and Dad were human. Were they animals? And what would they think of you joining the Brotherhood? Mom and Dad weren't even in our lives, Scott. They dropped the ball, just like you. Go to hell, Alex! You first, big brother! What gives? You should be out cold! And you should have been knocked into the next province. Our powers are nullified because we're brothers, remember, Bonehead? Fine by me. I don't need plasma to take you down a notch. You two ladies finished? You said you came alone. I did. Wolverine, did you follow me? You Summers boys are a paranoid lot, you know that? No, I came here on my own. Why? Because little Alex here is right. They used to experiment on mutants at this place. Really nasty stuff. And if someone got the bright idea to start things up again, I'm here to permanently change their mind. Come on, let's check it out. Looks like a bull elephant tore through this place. What happened here? Me. Just what I need. This is still here. Come on, let's go see who else wants to play rough. I don't care what you do to me. Just don't harm the Astral Gate. It is my life's work. I will tell you muties anything. You wouldn't. 
You couldn't. Yes, you would. It is a device that allows non-psychic people to enter the astral plane. You can't take this. I won't allow it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was the next on the test list. What's going on here? They're experimenting on us. On, on mutants. They treat us like... like lab rats. Who's doing this? Department H? Canadian Secret Service? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure the General is American. A part of something called Operation Vigilance. What General? General Kincaid. He's the cold-blooded monster in charge of this slaughterhouse. He called mutants a plague. Said he was gonna make sure we never threaten the security of mankind again. Where's Kincaid now? Oh, I don't know. I'm just glad he left. Oh, the horrors I've seen that man commit. Don't worry, it's over now. You're free. Let's head back to the mansion. We have to tell Professor X about this Operation Vigilance program. I'm not going with you. Why? Because you're part of the Brotherhood? You really should listen to what Magneto has to say, Scott. He intends to get mutants the respect they deserve. Magneto's a violent man, Alex. Do you realize that if Colossus hadn't been there, the new plant you and your friends visited would have had a meltdown? Thousands of people would have died. Think that would have gotten you respect? I didn't know the reactor had been damaged. No. This is war. A war for our freedom. Magneto said people would have to die before it was over. And you're never gonna understand. Goodbye, Scott. Let him go, Psyche. Let him go. I call this meeting to inform you that several of us will be taking a trip to the astral plane shortly. Several? But Charles, I only see you and Jean. I will be joining them. Cool! The White Queen is here! It figures they'd call in another super telepath to join the group. But what is the astral plane? It's a dimension of the mind. One where thoughts become reality. Why are you going to the astral plane, Professor? I'll let Moira answer that question. X-Men, I believe we've discovered the cause of Ileana's coma. You have? Tell me, Doctor, quickly! Her mind no longer inhabits her body, Colossus. We believe Ileana is on the astral plane. But she has no psychic powers. How can this be? I agree, Colossus. It is very strange indeed. And that is the reason Jean, Emma, and I are going to investigate the astral plane. In my absence, Scott will be in charge should any trouble arise. I can feel Ileana's mind is here. Me too. She's definitely on the astral plane. This doesn't make sense. How could a non-telepathic mutant become trapped on the astral plane? I don't know, but be vigilant, my friends. This is highly unusual. Professor, what are those creatures? I'm not certain, but apparently they mean us harm. Good. I'm in the mood for a fight. I pray it's not whom I suspect. <laughs> Quickly, that portal will take you to Ileana. We're not leaving without you, Professor. Don't be a fool, girl. We must escape. Get out! Show yourself, Shadow King. I know it's you. Hello, Xavier. I'm impressed you remember me. I'd never forget the true face of evil. <laughs> I have to give him credit. The brat Ileana served her purpose. Give who credit? Someone told you to kidnap Ileana? 
No one would dare give an order to Shadow King. I was advised that stealing the child would lure you into my world. And here you are. What do you intend to do now? I should have thought it obvious, Xavier. I will have my revenge. <laughs> Iliana, are you injured? Yet. I recognize you. You are X-Men, friends of my brother, Peter. Yes. We're here to help you escape from the Astral Plane. Can you move? Da. You lead, I will follow. Scott, it was horrible. Charles, it got Charles. Jean, Emma, calm down. Who got Professor Xavier? Shadow King. I felt his presence just before Professor Xavier helped us escape. Uh-oh. That ain't good. We have to get additional help and rescue Charles immediately. Both of you take it easy and tell me exactly what happened. Charles Xavier, I demand a word with you. <sighs> of all the times. Okay, people. Let's split into two teams. Some of us will go meet Magneto. The rest of us will stay here and watch over the Professor. I did not call for his children. I want Charles Xavier immediately. Very well. You have undoubtedly heard of the torture chambers Havoc uncovered in Canada. This should prove to you that humans see us as little more than animals. Yeah. Xavier has brainwashed the lot of you. There's also the small matter of a prisoner you've taken. You are free. Come and join your master. Oh, bloody lovely! I knew you'd come! He's the greatest, I told him! Magneto, don't forget about his loyal followers! No sorry! He's a stand-up bloke! He is a... Enough, Toad! Right you are, sir. I came to offer you a chance to redeem yourselves as homo superiors. Join me. Battle lines have been drawn and the time for war draws near. Think about it. He's right. He has the power to create better lives for all mutants. I have restored my headquarters on Asteroid M. From there, I will create a new world order. One where Homo Superiors take their rightful place as gods at the top of the genetic food chain. Cease all mutant activity or face instant termination. Got it. is all humanity has to offer us. Doesn't he ever shut up? Look! No! Main target acquired. Primary objective secured. With bomb. Follow them! X-Men, no! We need to regroup. You're one tough chick, Allison. You've seen more action in the past couple of days than most people see in a lifetime. What are those Sentinels gonna do with Magneto? I wouldn't worry none about Magneto. He can take care of himself. 
Those Sentinels got no idea the amount of destruction that's gonna be unleashed on them. See you later, Wolverine. See you, Pebbles. Hello, Allison. What can we do for you? What are you doing? We're hoping to enter the astral plane soon and save Professor Xavier. But we have to study the situation a little first. Shadow King is extremely powerful. Is Professor Xavier going to be all right? If he's ever to regain consciousness, we must return to the astral plane and free him so that his mind will be reintegrated into his body. Who is Shadow King? Shadow King is a mental parasite who lives on the astral plane, but he can take over the body of a person in the real world. The X-Men have fought him several times. Charles first met Shadow King a long time ago in Cairo, Egypt, back when Shadow King inhabited the body of a man known as Amal Farouk. When he and Professor X met, it was hate at first sight. They wound up battling on the astral plane. Professor Xavier won, but just barely. And it would appear Shadow King is still seeking vengeance. He's grown much stronger since our last meeting. Shadow King had little trouble capturing Charles. What will Shadow King do to Professor X? Knowing Shadow King, he'll torture Charles, causing him as much mental pain as possible. Then once he's had his fun, Shadow King will destroy Charles. We can't let that happen! Don't worry, Allison. It won't. The X-Men will see to that. I'll let you ladies get back to work. Thank you, Allison. Back again, Magma? I'll let you ladies get back to work. Thank you, Allison. Hi, Magma. Finding anything on the computer? I'm trying to track the movements of Havoc and the Acolytes. It looks as though they weren't able to catch up with the Sentinels. So Magneto is the prisoner of whoever controls the Sentinels? If he is, they would need extremely powerful methods of holding him in stasis. At Magneto's current output level, I don't think even the magnetic dampeners on the Arbiter could contain him. Who is Havoc? He's my younger brother, Alex Summers. I thought you two looked alike. So he's a mutant too? Yeah. His powers work kind of like mine. Only he absorbs cosmic radiation, and he generates waves of plasma. Did you see where Havoc and the Acolytes went after they lost track of Magneto? I tried to, but they just suddenly disappeared. It's as if they vanished. I have no idea where they went. Good luck finding Havoc. Thanks, Magma. Ah, Allison. What can we do for you? Why is Professor Xavier unconscious? I don't understand it myself, Allison. His vital signs are stable. His body is completely intact. There's no physical reason for him to be in a coma. But we are dealing with psychic matters. Not an area of my expertise. What can we do to get him back to normal? His mind must be set free from the astral plane so it can return to his body. What if his body was damaged before his mind was freed from the astral plane? If the professor dies here, he would cease to exist on the astral plane as well. An option we don't even dare to consider. Maybe I'll come back later to check on Professor X. We'll see you later. Ilyana, I would like you to meet Magma, the newest addition to the X-Men. Hello, Magma. I am pleased to meet you. How are you feeling? I am fine, but your Dr. Beast insisted I remain in the bed. 
This is most frustrating. All I want to do is go and feel the sun upon my face. Nonsense, Ilyana. You need your rest. Later, I will carry you and your bed outside. <laughs> there are times when I think you have more brawn than brain, big brother. You must be very happy to see Colossus again. Da, that is true. But it saddens me that Professor Xavier is trapped on the astral plane with that Cossack Shadow King. You are not to worry about that, Ilyana. We will save Professor Xavier. Any idea why Shadow King attacked you? Oh, yes. Shadow King loved to brag. He explained in great detail that I was merely bait to trap Professor Xavier. He also mentioned that with the Professor out of the way, someone else would be able to carry out their plan. Any idea who wanted the Professor out of the way? Yet. All I know is that it was someone in the real world. I'll stop by later, Eliana. Good. I could use some company other than my overprotective big brother. Is it so wrong that a brother be concerned about his little sister? Okay, people. I managed to track Havoc and the Acolytes for a short time after they left the mansion. They weren't able to catch up with the Sentinels, so we have to assume Magneto is being held prisoner. Did you see where Havoc went once they lost Magneto's trail? Perhaps that would lead us to their headquarters. I tried, but at one point they just vanished. It was like they were there one moment, gone the next. But I, on the other hand, using the wonders of satellite technology, have determined the location of Asteroid M. You found it? Robert, after all this time, how can you doubt my technical prowess? Is that what Magneto was calling the Mount? We believe so. It's his home base, a space station built into the core of an asteroid that's magnetically suspended several miles above the Earth. From the scans I've run, it appears to be both psionically and magnetically shielded. Okay, so let's hop in the X-Jet, pop up there, and bust some skulls. Because of the magnetic shielding, no spacecraft, not even the X-Jet, would be able to get near Asteroid M. But how does the Brotherhood get there? The Morlocks. I beg your pardon? I heard the Morlocks talking just before they near me. And that space rock ain't the mount. Uh-uh. The mount's here on Earth. I bet that be the only way to transport to Magneto's base. Uh -huh. So what are we waiting for? Let's go pay the Morlocks a visit. Your present location is Longitude West, 78.52.13, Latitude South, 1.3.22. Affirmative. Never thought you'd get this far, ex-ladies. You punks aren't as dumb as you look. With the coming war and all, we've been very busy transporting new recruits. The little guy is powerful, but he can't reach that far. Give it your best shot! What is this? A fight or a square dance? Like the nice guys come in last again. We are standing on the edge of an abyss. And by God, our very existence depends on immediate, decisive action. 
There is no negotiating with the mutant blight. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you a way to eradicate it before they... You have the audacity Silence, to... Silence, human. Your plans to destroy mutant kind will not come to fruition. This pitiful attempt failed, but it has sealed your fate. Let your followers know that it was you who set this war in motion, and let their anguished cries keep you warm in the days to come. This isn't working out the way you promised. Don't be so naive, Havoc. How can we ever hope to live peacefully with a species that regards us as abominations? But using this Gravitron of yours is... is... is madness. Then let madness be the mother of change. No! I won't let you do this! Oh. <laughs> will they realize that we are not merely their equals. We are their superiors. And on the eighth day, I looked down upon creation and said, let there be darkness. You set these events in motion the first time you laid hands on one of us. You have always looked down upon mutants, feared us, hated us. And now you shall reap what you have sown. The decision is yours. Will a new day dawn where my children will no longer hide in fear? Or will it be forever? RBN World News, I'm Deborah Owens. It's been two weeks since mutant leader Magneto began using his powers to encircle the Earth with asteroids. Currently, 90% of the sun's energy is being blocked from our atmosphere. As a result, there has been a 20 degree drop in the world's median temperature. At the UN, world leaders spoke out today, denouncing Magneto as barbaric and calling for retaliatory action. In the U.S., the president stated that military forces have focused their attention on finding Magneto's base. Citizens of Earth, I am Magneto. I have three demands which must be met unconditionally. First, all anti-mutant programs are to be terminated immediately. Second, the island of Genocha in the Indian Ocean will be granted to me as a sovereign nation. Finally, General William Kincaid will be handed over to me for trial under mutant law. If my demands are met, the sun will shine again. If I am defied, the chill you feel now will become the endless winter of your discontent. The choice is yours. Since Magneto surrounded the Earth in asteroids, things are really starting to fall apart. Humans are close to declaring all-out war against mutants. I wish Professor X were here. He'd know what to do. I hope they figure out a way to help him escape from Shadow King. Hey, Pebbles. Long time no see. What have you been doing? All this waiting around gets me a little on edge, so I was in the danger room letting off some steam. Nothing like a good scrap to clear the head. Do you think we're partially responsible for all this trouble? What? You mean Magneto being free? Well, yeah. The X-Men could have stopped him at the Arbiter, but we didn't. Kiddo, our number one responsibility is to help people. Mutants and humans alike. Saving lives on the Arbiter was way more important than capturing Magneto. But don't worry, Allison. Magneto will get his in the end. <laughs> How'd you learn to fight so well, Wolverine? 
Simple. I'm the best at what I do. See you, Wolverine. See you around, kiddo. Tensions have finally come to a head. There's been a huge upsurge in sentiments against mutants. Anti-mutant rallies are being held in every major city, and mutant control laws are being discussed by every nation in the world. There have been sporadic outbreaks of violence against mutants, but those are just small trickles from a dam that's about to break. Spit it out, Psych. What's going on? I just received word that Sentinels have begun openly hunting mutants in New York City. To make matters worse, Gerso's soldiers stormed the sewer tunnels and are attacking the Morlocks. Cyclops, I know we've had our differences with the Morlocks, but we must help them. We will, Storm. I spoke to Healer. He agreed to meet us in the sewers and fill us in on the situation. Scott! Scott, can you hear me? Juggernaut's on a rampage and we can't stop him. We need your help. He wants... Looks like we're going to be putting in some overtime today, X-Men. Let's get moving. Come quickly. Juggernaut is in the facility and he's trying to kill Forge. You better run, little man! <laughs> Isn't technology a wonderful thing? Ah. X-Men! Your little friend Forge can't keep running forever. And when I catch him, I'm gonna pulverize him. Thought I'd do a little sightseeing here on beautiful Muir Island. Then take home a few souvenir X-Men heads to hang over my fireplace. You should know better than that. Ain't nobody can stop Juggernaut. Not even the puny X-Men. I'm gonna crush you wimps like paper cups. Ready. You bet. I'm on it. Yes. Well, that was certainly exciting. Thanks for the help. Me? I'm fine. I just wish my hands would stop shaking. I've got a special brig that can hold Mr. Unstoppable. Let's drop him in there. Once he wakes up, maybe he'll feel like answering a few questions. You got lucky, Meatball. But you ain't never gonna knock me out again. Ah, get out of my head! I hate what you freaks do to a man's brain! I don't know, okay? I was hired by some anonymous joker. He paid me a big bundle of money to do the job. I was supposed to destroy the Astral Gate. I was chasing Forge because I figured he knew where it was. What? I go through all the trouble of fighting you goody two-shoes, and it ain't even here? But I was positive it'd be here. You creeps always have Forge mess with new equipment, right? Ah. I'm gonna get you for this, if it's the last thing I ever do! You X-Men have a habit of arriving in the nick of time. Thanks. What I seem to be doing a lot of lately, putting things back together. No, but it's just as well that he didn't attack the mansion. Whoever it was had to be very wealthy. Juggernaut doesn't come cheap. Maybe, but Magneto has always been a hands-on kind of guy. I can't see him hiring someone to do important work that he could do himself. See you later. Bless your hearts. You saved us again. I'm trying to see if I can help poor Charles. I just received word his health is failing. 
None at all. I feared the worst for him. He won't last much longer if his mind remains trapped on the astral plane. I sincerely believe it's our only chance at saving Charles. He must be freed soon or he'll die. Goodbye, my friends. Ah, once again, the X-Men arrive to save the day. We should get you guys pagers. Large and in charge. I went to pieces last time I saw you guys, but I've got myself together now. All of myself. <laughs> yeah. Lying in a tank of energized lip ties is way less exciting than it looks. Ah, oh, yeah. Like any time we have troubles here on Muir Island. <laughs> My dad's chest set. I carry it for good luck. Me? An X-Man? Wow. You really think so? X-Man. I've had enough of your interference. I will destroy you. Look, fresh meat. You can't stop the Gene Nation. We will. You know nothing about my people, and I've heard enough of your lies. The Brotherhood promised to let us help rule over the humans. For the first time in history, the Morlocks will be in charge. We will be the ones who make the laws. We will have control. How do you know? You lie! Gerso soldiers were here? I do. With every breath I take. I made the deal with the Brotherhood so my people would know what it's like to live in the sunshine. What do you know of my people, or of being oppressed? You live in luxury. You don't stomp around in other people's filth all day. I... I had no idea. I don't want any Morlocks to be hurt. Perhaps... This has gone too far. Yeah. 
You sound very much like my old friend Healer. I do miss this concert. Very well. I will call an end to G Nation and bring peace to my tribe. Thank you, X-Men, for your patience and your guidance. Good work, team. We've done a great job, but this is no time to rest on our laurels. Da! What is our next move? These dangerous situations are getting out of hand. It's time for us to strike at the heart of the problem. Magneto? Exactly. Beast. Have you come up with a way for us to get to Asteroid M? No. But I shall double my efforts in attempting to devise a solution to the conundrum. Perfect. Gene, have you come up with a way to release Professor X from the Astral Plane? Not yet, but now that Psylocke's here, we're working on a plan. All right, people. Every second counts now, and the world hangs in the balance. Let's make Professor X proud. Magma, what a pleasure it is to see you. Earlier, you mentioned the astral plane was an upheaval. What did you mean? It's as if a vast amount of energy is being used to reshape the landscape of the astral plane. Why would that be happening? I don't know, dear, but the odd thing is, it feels as if Charles were the one causing the change. Why would Professor Xavier change the astral plane? Maybe it's his way of showing us where he is. Whatever it is. We'll have to make our move very soon, or Charles will be lost to us forever. I'll let you get back to work, Emma. Thank you, dear. Hello, Allison. Have you had any luck coming up with a plan to save Professor Xavier? We're still using Cerebro to study the situation. I heard that the entity holding the Professor prisoner is really powerful. He is. More than any of us would have expected. But the X-Men will be able to defeat it, right? I certainly hope so. But it won't be easy. Why do you say that? Professor Xavier is the most powerful telepath known to mutant kind. Anyone that can so easily trap him is a force to be reckoned with. See you later, Jean. Bye, Allison. One more minor adjustment, and we'll all be able to reach the astral plane. Explain it to me one more time, Beast. What's this thing do? This is an astral gate. A rather ingenious device that allows non-psychics to visit the astral plane. But it's safe to use, right? It's not like I'm gonna wind up completely schizoid. No, Bobby. You'll be perfectly normal. Or whatever perfectly normal is for you. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Beast. Okay, enough joking around. Let's fire this thing up. Looks like it's time for a little thunder from down under. You ain't ready for Pyro, not at all. I believe I've won. I feel reborn. What entertainment have you brought for me today, Shadow King? A group of assassins, my Emperor. They had been sent to kill you. Somehow they do look familiar. 
That is merely a ploy meant to confuse you, my Emperor. Nonsense. Shadow King is my trusted advisor. And as your advisor, I would suggest you deal with these cutthroats with the utmost severity. But I shouldn't... Sire, it would be a sign of weakness to show mercy to these killers. Yes, I suppose you're right. Very well, I will call forth my champions to destroy these assassins. Excellent, your majesty. Time to get medieval on you. Cosmic smash! Will do. Combo! 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 Yes. How can this be? You've bested my champions. The X-Men. Yes. Now I remember. On the astral plane, we went to save... Iliana. We were attacked by... Shadow King. How dare you X-Men interfere with my plans? You'll never get Xavier back! Never! And extrapolation of the Sentinels' flight paths suggests that they are based at this facility in Central Europe. Also, just what is it you are suggesting, my friend? We must infiltrate this facility and liberate a Sentinel Guidance System sensor and a navigational controller. It ain't gonna be no waltz getting into Sentinel Central. Maybe not, but it's something we have to do. Okay, team, let's move out. Trionic energy. His powers are nullified by the trionic energy that's being pumped through his cage. All our cages are specially designed to keep us from escaping. For testing, whenever they finish a new Sentinel model, they pluck a couple of us out to make sure the machines can kill us. So far, the Sentinels have won every battle. Ah, yes. The X-Men. Champions of the mutant world. I should have known you'd make an appearance. Yes. Have you mutants grown so drunk in your hatred for humans that you'd attempt to attack my Sentinel factory? Spare me your lies. I know you're biding your time. Waiting and growing in numbers until the day you can seize power from the lowly, unevolved humans. Well, I'm not about to sit by and let that happen. 
I will fight you. By whatever means necessary. No, you're wrong. Dead wrong. You bet. Men just die like you're supposed to. If those are mutant lives, then it's worth the cost. The time for reason is over. Now is the time for action. Can't wait any longer. We have to return to the astral plane and save Professor Xavier. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time we went astral, didn't Shadow King almost get Professor X to kill us? Yes, but he's no longer brainwashed. If we can find Professor Xavier, we should be able to set him free. Sounds good to me. When do we get started? Right now. Beast, fire up the astral gate. Shadow King won't bother us again, at least not for a very long time. And I think I've had just about enough of the astral plane. Let's leave, shall we? All right, listen up, everyone. Our time is up. We have to make our move now, or things are going to seriously deteriorate here on Earth. Beast, what's the status of the X-Jet upgrades? With Wolverine's assistance, I have fully integrated the equipment we liberated from the Sentinel factory. By all appearances, the X-Jet should be able to reach Asteroid M. But getting inside Magneto's base could prove to be another matter entirely. We'll cross that bridge once we get there. Gene, how's Professor X? He's weak, but he's fine. He just needs a few days of rest. I'm sure the Professor's not going to be happy about being left out on this next mission. But we have no choice. Our number one priority is to reach Asteroid M and capture Magneto. Then we have to figure out a way to remove the Asteroid Shield from around the Earth. Summers, you make it sound almost easy. We all know it's going to be far from easy, Wolverine. But it's got to be done. The world is depending on us. Any questions? Okay, let's move out.
Wait a tick. Isn't that airlock door supposed to be open? I'm sure I remember Mystique telling me that door was supposed to be kept open. Might as well take care of it. Ow! Not you bloody bunch of do-gooders again! Greetings, children. Have you finally realized the truth and decided to join the Brotherhood? How predictable. You recite Xavier's rhetoric like a politician running for office. My judgment is not clouded by outdated morals and sentimental feelings toward lesser beings. I know that mutants are superior and should not be forced to live among humans, much less live in fear of them. You are wrong, X-Men. Very wrong. To try and force two completely different species to live together? And I am sorry too, children. You would have made excellent additions to the Brotherhood. Pains me to destroy you. You cannot okay. Go come now. Come on. to move asteroids like Magneto did? Then couldn't I use the Gravitron to stop Asteroid M from hitting the Earth? So what are we waiting for? Let's find the Gravitron. is finally complete. Once Asteroid M obliterates New York City, humans will blame mutants and eradicate them from the face of the Earth. A cause I'm willing to die for! Combo! 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 Stay close. Combo! Combo! Men, 
kid. The Gravitron was built for Magneto. It could kill you. That's a chance I'll have to take. Time to heat things up. Whatever you're doing, it's working! Exemplary job, Allison. In stopping Asteroid Inn, you not only saved New York City, but you prevented a war. A war that would have cost countless lives. Your unwavering courage in the face of overwhelming odds has proven that you truly are an X-Man. For X-Men are the stuff of legend. Enjoy your small victory, Xavier. For the Age of Apocalypse is nigh. <laughs> Welcome to RBN World News. I'm Deborah Owens. The mutant leader Magneto is still at large, but his long silence has led many to speculate he has discontinued all terrorist activities. In New York, cleanup is almost complete after the damage caused by Asteroid M's plunge to Earth. Surveys show that many New Yorkers attribute the rescue of Manhattan to a mutant group known as the X-Men. This is largely due to security tapes leaked to the media, showing the heroic efforts of the X-Men on Asteroid M. The X-Men also exposed illegal experimentation on humans at a Sentinel factory in Europe. This resulted in a shutdown of the factory and an inquiry into Operation Vigilance, which financed the covert activity. General William Kincaid head of Operation Vigilance, is now in custody and awaiting trial for crimes against humanity. While in New York, the president blasted Operation Vigilance and commented, if we are to move forward as a culture, we must learn to understand one another, human and mutant alike. The president closed his speech by commending the X-Men's efforts. I'm Deborah Owens for RVN World News. Have a pleasant evening.